In this short tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can integrate x times e to the x. So we have our integral there, and the first thing you have to realize is that we've got a product. We have two things being multiplied together. And generally speaking, to solve these sort of problems, we're going to need to use integration by parts. And so we have this formula called the integration by parts formula, and that says that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And so the key thing we've got to do first is to realize that u and dv are two functions and that these are going to match up with these two. So we are going to have to choose one of these functions to be u and choose one of these functions to be dv. And we want to do it in such a way that we're going to get something that's going to become simpler. So if we were to choose e to the x to be u, when we find the derivative of that to get our du, it's going to be completely unhelpful. We're going to just keep getting e to the x over and over and over again. But if we choose u to be equal to x, when we find du, we're going to have 1. So this x is going to get simpler by choosing it as u. So we're going to let u equal x, and we're going to let dv equal e to the x. Now, in order to get our du, we're going to have to find the derivative of this. In order to get v, we're going to have to find the integral of both sides to get v equals. So we're going to do that on the next line. So we've got the derivative here, du giving us dx. And then we're doing the integral of both sides. So the integral of dv is going to give you v. And the integral of e to the x is, of course, e to the x. We now have all four things that we need. And so on the next line, all I'm going to do is substitute each of these variables into our formula. So I'm just filling in the formula with our substitutions here. And so we end up with this expression here. All that's happened is that I've replaced your u, v, du, and dv in that formula with our expressions there. And so we only have to worry about one integration, which is that we've got to do the integral of e to the x, which we've seen is just e to the x. So we do that, and we end up with the final answer. We just have to add in the constant of integration. So that is how you integrate x times e to the x. Hope this video was helpful to you, and thank you very much for watching.